Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And this is the last article for the day. And uh, all I'm going to say is I think the DOJ and the FBI are probably going to be, are starting to get upset because the federal judge ain't doing what they want. But before we get into that article, let's start this like we normally do. People are always asking me, why am I so angry? The reason is because the country that I love is destroying itself from within. That's why I am. The angry conservative. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And for this last article, we are going to the um, uh, Western Journal because um, let's let's just say this is fantastic. All right. Judge strips DOJ access to Mar-a-Lago documents. Hands everything to a Reagan appointee. <laughs> Oh, this is this is why I love doing stories like this. All right, a federal judge on Thursday appointed a special master to review documents seized in the federal raid on former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida. In naming retired Judge Raymond Deary, who had been proposed by the Trump team. For the task, U.S. District Judge Elaine Cannon also said the Justice Department must not access what it says are classified records confiscated on last month's raid. Derry, appointed by the federal bench by then President Ronald Reagan in 1986, was the o only one of the four names proposed by either Trump or Judge or the Justice Department, on which the two sides could agree. He fully retired from the U.S. District ju Court Judge for the Eastern District of New York last late last month, according to The Hill. Oh, this is going to be fun. Trump must pay the cost of the special master whose review is due by November 30th. And her decision... The judge rejected an argument that the Biden administration's Justice Department that it should be allowed to review 
about 100 documents it has said are classified and banned the special master from seeing them. Cannon was nominated by Trump to serve on the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Florida in May of 2020. In her ruling, the judge noted that the Justice Department wanted everything its way. If the court were willing to accept the government's representations that select portions of the seized materials are, without exception, government property, not subject to any privileges, and did not think a special master would serve a meaningful purpose, the court would have denied plaintiff's special master request, Cannon wrote in the case. Trump is the plaintiff. She wrote that even-handed procedure does not demand unquestioning trust in the determination of the Justice Department. The Justice Department has claimed about 100 records were classified Noting that this is an area of dispute, Cannon said those records must be reviewed by Deary with all the rest. In many respects, the government's position thus presupposes the content, designation, and associated interest in materials under its control. Yet, as the parties completing filings reveal there are disputes as to the proper designation, of the materials, the legal implications flowing from those designations, and the intersecting bodies of law premeditating these designations, the judge wrote. Cannon said the judge cannot use the documents in question in any investigation related to Trump. Oh. She wrote, that she does not find the government's argument sufficiently convincing as presented. First, there has been no actual suggestion by the government of any identifiable emergency or me immediate disclosure of classified information arising from plaintiff's allegedly unlawful retention of seized property. Instead, and unfortunately, the unwarranted disclosures that flowed in the background have been leaked to the me media after the underlining season, the judge wrote. Oh, my Lord! Her bottom line, the court does not find it appropriate to accept the government's conclusion on these important dis and disputed issues without further review by a neutral third party in an expedited and orderly fashion. The Justice Department is planning to appeal the decision the New York Times reported, citing a senior law enforcement official who was not named. Dang! People, you have to think about this. I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not going to say I, I ever played one. But she, she wrote, she said, that the government, the government, Cannon said the government cannot use the documents in question in any investigation related to Trump. In other words, what she's saying, the classified materials and the stuff that they got out of Mar-a-Lago, they can't prosecute him for it, is what I'm, what I'm thinking. Because this is quite interesting. Cannon said the government cannot use the documents in question in any investigation. Oh, probably the documents that they say are classified. That is a hack of a bombshell. That is a hack of a bombshell. 
that Cannon would say the government cannot use what the special master is going to be looking at in an investigation. Ooh. And the guy has until, what did it say? November 30th? You have the 100 documents, records, that they're saying is classified is um, what I think they're talking about. But, and it said November 30th or October 30th. But what do you think? Yeah, November 30th. The special master has to come back by November 30th. Let me know what you guys think. Did the judge do the right thing? Is the judge wrong in her decision? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope everyone has a blessed day, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming.